Yo, what's up guys, it's Ryan Smith here, and today I'm gonna teach you the best way to track and hit your goals. So if you're wherever you are in the entrepreneurial niche, fitness niche, wherever, if you want to grow your brand, if you want to become more fit, you have to set goals and achieve them. And most of the people are doing it the wrong way. And I'm going to tell you why. Um, so if, for example, I'm out here trying to sell this, this not book, but uh, this notebook, and most of the people out there would be, you know, trying to try how many sales they get. Oh, I want to get 50 sales. Oh, I want to get 100 sales, 200 sales, right? But here's the thing. You cannot track that. You cannot track that. Why? Just because you cannot um, determine how many sales you will get. You know what I mean? But uh, the biggest difference is I'm going to tell you a tool which is much better than just tracking your goals. It's called a proactive dashboard. As you can see on the screen right now, this is my proactive dashboard for my personal brand, Rain is Fit. And the biggest difference from this versus the setting goals is this thing shows you things you can, like uh, things you can actually do in order to like achieve your goal. So if, for example, you want to sell 50 of, of these notebooks, you cannot determine the outcome of how many how many you will sell, but you can determine how many many people you'll cold call, how many people you'll cold email, how many, many like ads you put out, how many like pieces of content you put out on YouTube about this notebook, you know stuff like that. So this is actually a more more powerful and more uh, like a better tool to like hit your goals you, because you're focusing on things you can do something about. Like for example, on here, I'm gonna tell, I'm gonna take my whiteboard as an example. So guys, um, this is my whiteboard. It has it has some goals on it, and the uh, the pretty much the main goal of this is to grow this YouTube channel you're watching right now. And what have I done? So for today, uh, my goals are. Edit two to three videos, create three to four videos, and yeah, those are pretty much my goals for today. And this is a way how to like track your progress, track your goals, track everything you're doing. So if I don't hit the daily goal of creating three to four videos, um, yeah, I'm not gonna grow my channel as as well as I could be by hitting that goal, right? And I can control that. I cannot control if I'll get 10 subscribers, 20 subscribers, or zero subscribers, right? But I can control how many pieces of content I put out on here, how many pieces of, of content I put out on um, Instagram, and yeah. So how to set this thing up? It's actually fairly super simple. So what do I do? I take my my main goal for the week, which is uh, for in this example, in this case, it was personal brand growth. Like I, I was trying to grow my personal brand, Rain is Fit, and it can be growth in any any aspect. It can be growth in YouTube, uh, social like Instagram and other social media platforms. So, and and <clears throat> so these are this, this is the big goal. Then I divide it in smaller things I'm doing to achieve that goal. So for example, to grow my Instagram, it's uh, 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 posting three posts a week, three high quality posts, then um, making four emails uh, a week for my mailing list, um, uh, making one podcast and appearing on uh, on one podcast. Um, and the thing is, during the week and at the end of the week, you color these, you color the uh, cells out in green or red. Sometimes I use, uh, I sometimes use neutral like uh, yellow if it has stayed the same. But in this way, you can see what you're doing to, to get to your goal. And like at the end of the week, you can look back at it and see, oh, I didn't do this. And why didn't I do this? And you can see what's working and what's not working. So but let's say, for example, you're posting seven, seven posts on Instagram a week, but your Instagram is staying the same. Then you start posting three uh, posts a week and it's actually growing. Why? Maybe you're your followers are getting tired of your posts, they need like fatigue from your, from your posts, so they get bored of them, um, maybe you're just too into their faces, and stuff like that, maybe you're doing only one email per week, and when you start doing four, people like that even more, so you can see the things you're doing right there, and you can like, you can analyze everything better, and see what, what works better for you, so this can be done in, also in like, weight loss, uh, I want to lose, 20 pounds so then then you like 
uh, set the minimum goals for the day. So I want to run five, like 10 kilo kilometers per week. Um, I want to like work out six times a week, do this, do that, stuff like that. And then you can look at those goals. Like for example, in this week, my personal brand, brand growth stay the same because in the mailing list, I'm not getting new people in. I didn't post three posts. So that means on Instagram, new people could not find me because they cannot find me on my mailing list because mailing lists for people that already know me. Um, I made one podcast and I appeared on one podcast. It means the podcast I appeared on wasn't as great uh, as it as it as it, as it you know I thought it was and stuff like that. So then, even when I hit uh, when I hit <clears throat> personal gro- growth, it actually got you know I was losing people. So I was posting three post week mailing list I was you know um I was filtering out the the my you know my closer followers which are more important by the way and then as you can see I didn't wi- quite make one podcast and I didn't appear on one but when everything was green I can see I'm hitting three main things I want to three posts a week um four mails a week and then and uh, make one podcast as you can see I'm I'm trying to hit everything like it's it's been a, it's been green because I've been starting to use like Facebook ads and stuff like that, which are which are a great tool. I'm gonna talk about them uh, later on in some other videos. But yeah, it's just super duper great. And for example, yeah, I wanted to finish my course, so yeah, it was the intro video for the course, and I would you know then I would create YouTube videos about the course, and I stopped here because I had hit everything I wanted to. Because in this day, I uh, I created three videos on YouTube and. And this one I didn't didn't create any, but over here I was still creating a video like kind of in the same place as the course and stuff like that. So yeah, and this was the same thing for the course. So yes, so that's that's pretty much it. So with proactive d- dashboards, you're just filtering out what can you do for the goal right now, and this is super important because those are things you can control. You don't focus on things you cannot control, and when you do that. Super duper easy. You can like, uh, you can filter out things you're doing, you're not doing, and what's working for you, and what's not working for you. So yeah, guys, thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please subscribe right now and like the video and share this with a friend who wants hit, who wants to hit those goals. And damn, I was talking really fast and trying to talk really fast. <laughs> but yeah, guys, thank you much for watching. Uh, watch a different video on this channel as well. They're all great. <laughs> but yeah, subscribe, like, and peace.